Okay, so it's a few days before the Boston Marathon. Do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. So my name is Irina Disipio, and I'm a head of nonprofit Rivad Soldiers Ukraine. This is nice. And, and here we are at the Boston Marathon Expo. Huh? Do you want to explain your nonprofit and how much? Sure. So before before the invasion of Russia throughout the entire Ukraine, we will help the Ukrainian wounded soldiers. We will bring them to the United States for medical care. Uh, we also had the rehabilitation center for paralyzed uh, Ukrainian soldiers right outside of Kiev. With the war, it was occupied by Russians, and uh, we lost our rehab temporary. Uh, right now, the city is uh, getting back to its normal. It's city of European, right outside of Kiev, and we're hopefully to gonna give services back to wounded Ukrainian so soldiers and right now civilians. When the war started, we start to do everything practically, like literally everything. That includes food for people, for soldiers. It includes uh, medical facilities and hospitals civilians and military as well as field hospitals where we will bring most advanced equip medical equipment and also we are purchasing ambulances for the for the Ukraine. Uh, our nonprofit Revive Soldiers Ukraine got over 20 ambulances right now, which ten of them were evacuating people from the region. And right now, we we bring more ambulances from Italy. So we're working 24/7 every day since the war started, like uh, throughout the Ukraine. And I really hope our soldiers will stay brave. Revive Soldiers Ukraine will help as much as we can with whatever we can, like it's including food, generators, uh, uniforms, and anything anything you need. So we will do our best to save. Ukraine. We love Ukraine and we will fight for it. Thank you. Is it okay to ask a few questions? Sure. So you started uh, your nonprofit and it's called Revived Soldiers Ukraine. This is the website. Um, it was, you started it when, uh, in 2014? Uh, 2015 actually. I started as a volunteer and I realized to bring wounded soldiers is really hard without umbrella that will cover medi uh, medical expenses, travel, room and board, visa cost. So we had to create a, a, a nonprofit. So revived stands for uh, medical. <laughs> in my in my in my version, uh, soldiers obviously stand for soldiers and Ukraine for my country Ukraine. So that's all very very kind of specific. Uh, that what we wanted to create and that's what we've been working for six and a half years and we could manage to bring over 50 wounded soldiers to the US. Five of our soldiers fighting on US prosthetics right now for Ukraine. They're, they're fighting on prosthetics. They're, yes, they're fighting for prosthetics and, and my soldiers in the wheelchairs that we rehabilitated here in the US are volunteering, they, they're helping the army, they're uh, doing all the logistics and helping us revive soldiers to Ukraine also. Uh, on the spot in, in west of Ukraine. And we should we should point out something and explain why are we at the Boston Marathon Running Expo? What's your background and why did you decide to come to the Running Expo to to sell to sell all these shirts? And by the way, all these people there's a lot of there's a lot of people buying. There's actually some really good ones with the famous saying that the sailors what they came up with and as a response to the the Moskva. It's a beautiful bear there. Yeah. Um, so, in response to the question, why raise money at a running expo? Uh, so, I used to run for Ukrainian national team and I did the middle and long distances. Although I never ran marathon, I think 10K was the longest I could done. But uh, I was running in the World Championship and European Championship and I got recruited to USC, University of Southern California in Los Angeles, to come over and run for school. And I, our American Big Ten champion was regional record holder in 1500 meters. And so uh, here I am at the Boston Marathon fighting right now for my country, Ukraine, and helping our people. And uh, so people can buy the shirts if they go to your website, RSU No, they can go to our website and they can donate okay. so we can help. Okay. And, and uh, the shirts are only available when you show up at locations like Running Expo. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, yes. So, if, Thank you guys. so if you're, if you're at a running expo, buy them while you can because you cannot buy them online. No, they came from Ukraine. It's a really? very authentic. Yeah, really? Authentic. They were printed. From they're, the Ukraine. They were yes. printed there. Yes. Um, Last, maybe the last question is, oh, we should we should point out to people that since 2015, you've raised how much money? 
Oh, uh, so as of last month, we yeah. raised three and a half million. Two and a half million. But somebody was saying three and, and a half. Three and a half million. You were saying it's it's more than three now. Yeah, yeah, three yes. and a half. Um, last month, and we we, we spent pretty much everything on uh, aid what we delivered to Ukraine, and I mentioned everything we would do earlier. The ambulances and medical equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, what's the biggest thing you learned about starting a nonprofit? If I'm gonna, if my students watch this, what's the what's the number one thing that you've learned? The most important thing. Uh, it's a donors relations. Donor relations. So it's Donor all about relationships. relations. Yes, you have to always be thankful to people who give you money, and yeah. you practically don't own anything, right? They just give it to you yeah. money. You you have to report. You have to uh, communicate with the donors. Uh, it's, it's a lot of people work. Interesting. Do you think so? That that begs the question. Do they give? Would they give anyways to the cause, or is it sometimes because they know you? Is it sometimes because of the it's both actually? Yes, okay. people. Uh, when the war started, and all everybody tried to like donate somewhere, they didn't know yeah. what to donate, but yeah. they knew me as a not, not as a soldier, skin, more like a, me as a person who helped wounded soldiers. Yeah. So people. It didn't matter. Do, do I want to do it or I don't want to do it? They give it to me, and all of a sudden I had to do it. So people, uh, it's all, it's a lot of personal relations, and it's a lot of donor relations, talking to people and explaining what you do, and it's, it's a lot of effort. It takes a lot of, it takes years. It takes years. Yeah, if it's if 2015 you started, then you've been doing this for more than six years. Six and a half years. Yeah, but well, as a volunteer for Wow. You said it takes years to learn how to do it. What were your biggest mistakes when you started? Oh, there's a lot of mistakes. Yeah. You, know, yeah, you know, nobody, uh, no, none of us are born to volunteer or to run a charity. Yeah. You have to learn everything as you go. Yeah. And because you, you have very specific cause. At first, at first, very few people want to support. Because we wounded, we help wounded soldiers. Right. It's very, very specific. Yeah. And uh, it took me years to, to get donors, to get hospitals, to yeah. get relationships. Yeah. So it does take years. Um, well, please, uh, so you, you still have connections with these soldiers that are still fighting, even though they're in prosthetics. Right. Yes, yes, um, all, my, all my guys, I wish them luck. One of my soldiers right now is in city Mariupol, and he is missing both feet. We did a pros uh, orthotics for him in Orlando. I wish him to fight till the end and uh, defend city Mariupol. I hope all our army will come soon and... Uh, and Help. help, help defend them. I don't know. Like we have very a few hundred of uh, soldiers left in city Mariupol, and I wish first of all they will survive, and second of all they will get help that they need right now. Do you, do you want to mention his name, or do you not want to? Maybe you don't want to mention his name. Okay. Well, can you pass it back from us in uh, in Boston and everywhere? Slava Ukraina and Slava Ukraina and, and Heroyam Slava. And let's stand with Ukraine. And thank and, you for your support. And Jakui. Jakui. Uh, to, to all of your people and the uh, the Pribachnya. The Pribachnya. The Pribachnya.